have been talking about immunity in general. Now what exactly is this immune system in our body? We know there are cells, B cells and T cells. Now where are they formed? They are formed in the bone marrow. Their specialization takes place in thymus and other lymphoid tissue. That means our immune system comprises of lymphoid tissue. And these lymphoid tissues are classified into two categories. Primary lymphoid tissue and secondary lymphoid tissue. Now, how do we differentiate between the primary and the secondary? The primary lymphoid tissue, example, bone marrow. And whenever we talk about the lymphoid tissue and bone marrow, it is the red bone marrow. Yellow bone marrow is only the fat storing bone marrow. And thymus. These are the only two primary lymphoid tissue. Secondary lymphoid tissues are many. Like pears, patches. Then tonsils. Even appendix. Even appendix has secondary lymphoid tissue. Then, mucosa associated lymphoid tissue. The short form is M-A-L-T, marked. Because it is found in mucosa. Mucosa associated lymphoid tissue. Now, mucosa is everywhere. So, now if it is the mucosa of gut, then that will be called gut associated lymphoid tissue. It can be in the respiratory tract also. So anywhere, depending upon the area, you can call it by that local name, like gut associated lymphoid tissue. Otherwise, generally they are called mucosa associated lymphoid tissue. What is the difference between the primary and the secondary lymphoid tissues? Here, we need to read the lines which are given in NCRT. It is on page 153 about the primary lymphoid tissue or organ. It says, primary lymphoid organs are bone marrow and thymus where immature lymphocytes differentiate into antigen sensitive lymphocytes. So, if it is an immature one, when it passes through the primary lymphoid organ, it will be converted into antigen sensitive lymphocyte or lymph, uh, lymphocyte. Now what exactly is antigen sensitive? That means this lymphocyte now is attached to that antigen. So it has become antigen sensitive. This is immature. So when it passes through this, it is now sensitive to that particular antigen. And moving forward, it will help in formation of antibody against only one particular antigen. Then what are the secondary lymphocytes? Secondary lymphoid organs are like spleen. Spleen is also one. Spleen lymph nodes, tonsils, pears, patches of small intestine and appendix. The secondary lymphoid organs provide the site for interaction of lymphocytes with antigen which then become uh, proliferate to become the effector cells. So it has been sensitized. Now when it passes through the secondary lymphoid organs, then because it is sensitized with that antigen, now it here becomes like an effector cell. When it becomes an effector cell, it starts producing the antibodies. So that is the difference. So first time encounter formation takes place in primary. And then actual activation so that the cells can form antibodies, that takes place in the secondary lymphoid tissue. Sometimes, our uh, immune system doesn't work properly and we suffer from 
autoimmune disorders there are certain diseases which are called autoimmune diseases and here what exactly happens is our own cells they become antigenic auto immune disorders our immune system can distinguish between self and non self the cell which is our own the glycoprotein which is our own and the glycoprotein which is not our own so we say that it can distinguish between self and non self suppose our own cells they become antigenic they behave like antigen then our immune system is going to attack them it happens our immune system attacks anything coming from outside like after kidney transplantation and that is why we need to take immunosuppressants otherwise our immune system is going to attack that kidney which we have taken from somebody else because it is not our cells it is having different glycoproteins so if our cells they become uh, antigenic say for example rbc the membrane of rbc the proteins on rbc they become antigenic so what will our immune system do our immune system will attack this if our immune system attacks this that means our antibodies attack this rbc is will rupture and this will result into anemia and jaundice if our muscles become antigenic then it is myasthenia gravis our muscles are going to become uh, thin they will shrink because now they are attacked suppose the thyroid cells thyroid gland cells they become antigenic so immune system is going to attack them that condition is known as hashi motos disease or it is also known as thyroiditis inflammation and then swelling and then ultimately thyroid will be damaged if our synovial membrane becomes antigenic then the disease cause is known as rheumatoid arthritis so there are such diseases which are actually caused when our own cells are becoming uh, antigenic there is one which is known as lupus so lupus is also one disease which is due to uh, the same thing where the cells of our skin they become antigenic it is called lupus lupus multiple sclerosis is also one in multiple sclerosis the sheath the myelin sheath on the nerve fiber that becomes antigenic so these are all autoimmune disorders